Previously on Broken Sylvia, we took apart the R34 Skyline and made mounts for the shell to be able to bolt to the rotisserie. In this episode, we will continue working on the car and slowly start preparing it for primer and paint. So as you can see, the mounts that Mickey made for the R34 to work with the rotisserie are strong enough to hold the car. Now, everything you'll see in this video is about 10 days worth of work. And what I filmed prior to this was me removing all the underbody protection from the underside of the car. Now, all that footage will have to be used in a later episode as I didn't know what products I should use on the underside of the car, but after doing a little bit of research, I ended up ordering a kit from SR Auto Bodies uh, who are located in the UK and I'm waiting for it to get here. So instead of sitting around for 10 days, I decided to slowly start preparing the shell for primer as we are getting closer and closer to the stage where we are finally going to see this car in color. I usually like to tackle the annoying or dirty jobs first, so here I'm using a grinder with a wire wheel to remove some of the surface rust in the engine bay that had built up on the bare metal surfaces. After that, I used the rust converter and it was nice and clean. So here I'm just using a little bit of sandpaper to give the area a scuff so the primer has something to stick to and also using the wire wheel on the grinder to remove the seam seal around that area as it's going to get reapplied throughout the whole engine bay. The next job on the list was to finally grind down the welds that connect the brand new R34 GTR rear quarter panels to the car itself. So here I'm just using an 80 grit flap disc on a grinder to grind these welds down. Now the right side is going to need a little bit more filler than I'd like while the left side turned out really good but you learn off your mistakes. If I were to do this again I would go out and buy a little handheld uh, belt sander and just lightly sand them down instead of using a grinder but as I mentioned I'm not a professional so we're gonna have to learn as we go. So there are still quite a few sections on the car that are bare metal and it's getting a little bit annoying because the surface rust just keeps building up on those sections. So what I've been doing is going around with a wire wheel on the grinder, removing the surface rust and following it with some rust converter to make sure those sections are 100% clean. Then we're going to shoot some primer when we push the car outside. Pause the music, quick interruption, the windshield was already cracked so I'm just using a razor blade to cut out some of the adhesive holding it in. This is not how you remove a windscreen, it was already cracked so yeah. So right now I'm just using a little bit of waxing grease remover on all the sections I'm planning on primering to ensure that the surface is nice and clean and the primer can adhere to those sections. So pretty much as you can see we're not doing the whole car at once, we're just going to do those small little sections for starters. And the primer we're going to be using is an epoxy primer. 
The epoxy primer is a primer that is used on bare metal surfaces as it seals in the metal and it doesn't continue rusting. But the best part about it is it's a very thick and high filling primer as well. So there you have it, in 30 seconds the engine bay is complete but when in reality it took a few days worth of work and was an absolute pain. You might have also seen another few little pinholes that I had to actually go back and weld shut but I'm not going to show every single detail in this video. Unfortunately this sort of content is very hard for me to make entertaining because at the end of the day all I am doing is sanding body panels. But we have to get through it and we have to do a good job because once the car is in colour, all the hard work we've done now will be well worth it. The next episode will be either the underside of the car or we'll be revealing the front end, sanding the rest of the body panels so it should get a little bit more exciting than this episode and I just cannot wait to finally get this car rolling again so we can start test fitting the engine I bought for it. Time to sand the body with some 320 grit sandpaper on a speed file. The car sat around for quite a while outside before I actually started rebuilding it and the paint on the roof started getting these weird spider cracks. Now the best way to repair it is I'm pretty sure to paint strip of the whole roof back to bare metal but I didn't really want to do that so I hit the roof with 120 grit sandpaper till all the spider cracks were gone then I refined it by using 180, 240 and finally 320 grit sandpaper and now the roof is ready for primer.
Once again, I'm using wax and grease remover to make sure the surface is clean wherever I applied body filler. And now it's time to mix up a little bit more epoxy primer and spray it over those sections. You want to make sure that you give it a good stir because it is thick stuff and also use a paint strainer before finally spraying it on. So right now I'm applying a black guide coat to those sections. Pretty much the reason I'm doing this is for it to show me texture. Primers are quite textury and before you apply more primer or paint, you want to make sure that that surface is as straight and as smooth as possible. The black guide coat is going to show you the highs and the lows. If you have any black spots left, that means they are the low spots and you need to continue sanding. Now comes the time to reapply the seam sealer. Pretty much as you can see, this back section won't be visible once the tail lights and the rear bumper are on, so I'm just kind of using my finger to smudge it in and putting it on nice and thick. While in other sections such as the door jam, we're gonna spend a little bit more time to try and make it a little bit prettier, and I'll show you the technique I used. So this section in the door jam will be visible, so I wanna spend a little bit more time on it to make it look nice and presentable. So as you can see, it's got masking tape on each side of the seam. I'm applying some seam sealer and then running my finger across to smoothen it out. Now just running a finger across won't make it very nice and smooth, so putting a little bit of thinners on your finger for some reason makes it so much nicer because it's not as sticky, it just kind of glides across. That technique works really well. Leave it on there for about half an hour and then pull up the masking tape and it should look a hell of a lot better than it did before. But I've actually found out that there's an even better way of doing it. So I'm gonna have to redo it at a later episode and obviously um, show you guys how I did it. But because I'm pretty much editing this video a few hours before it goes live, this is gonna have to do for this one. We're getting closer and closer to seeing this car in primer. Right now, it's time to blow off all the dust, mask up the car, use wax and grease remover to make sure the surfaces are clean, mix up some primer, and prime the car.
So the skyline is finally in primer. It's been so much work, but it's well worth it. It looks really good and I had a color choice in mind and almost went out and kind of bought the paint. But now, now looking at the car, I'm changing my mind once again. So the color I'm gonna paint the car is definitely gonna be a factory color. It won't be like a candy red or something like that. So red looks good, blue looks good, midnight purple looks good, silver, white, any color you throw in this car will look good. So gonna have to narrow it down to two options and that's where I am right now. Won't tell you what the two options are, but uh, I don't wanna paint it a color that I'm gonna regret. So that's kind of where we're at. Anyways, if you like this sort of content, consider subscribing, Instagram for live updates, and in the next episode, Gonna be, gonna be preparing the rest of the body panels for paint, or if my kit from SR Auto Body Bodies comes in time, then we'll restore the underside of the car. Thank you very much for watching. I know this episode has been a bit of a drag. Hope you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one.